Hi everybody, Robert here again with more of the training. This was a, a question from Al Altamont, and he wants to know how do you put in ceiling joists? Okay, so I'm going to use this model that we use for that same project. Now, ceiling joists usually are done in a structural model, but we'll do it in this architectural model. So basically, what all you need to do is so this is the 3D view of this building we have here. So I'm going to leave that there for now and go back to our level two. Now we're on level two here. So how you create a joist system, you would just go in the architecture tab and I want to go to insert I want a low family, and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go up. I'm going to wood family, and I'm going to pick dimensional lumber. And we'll open that. And now here we've got a selection of all our lumber. Now I'm going to go with a 2 by 12 Or you can do a 2 by 10 whatever size you need, you use, and then just say OK. Now we're on level 2. I'm not working in the ceiling plan. I'm working in this level two. So I want to go up to my structure and I want to select the beam system. And then I want to pick the select diagonal here. And I want to take this from this point all the way across to here or wherever it ends. It might go out even further, I don't know, but I'm gonna place it right here. Now, as you can see, this is at elevation zero, zero on level two. We wanna push this up to say 10 feet. And then we want our spacing here. Let's say in, uh, that would say one by, uh, I know 16 on center is US, so I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna go one foot Let's see, one foot four inches. And then I've got everything else here. Now there's my beam type, dimensional two lumber, and I'll click apply, then okay. Okay, one minute, we've got to, okay, now here, we want to go back here and edit this boundary. I made one mistake here. We got the span, the beam direction. You want it to go this way. And then I'll finish it. And there's our joist. Now let's go into our 3D view and have a look. Let's remove this roof. Let's hide it, I guess you can say. And there are our joists. So that's how you do joist. Now I might want to now want to do something else here. I want to move this up so it's best to keep it in a beam system because you can. I'm going to move this up another foot. So let's move this 11 feet. There you go. It probably needs to come down. So like I said, the trick is to leave it as a beam system because there is one is one group. They're all grouped together. So I grab this beam system, and I might want to go down to 10, 6. So you manipulate this as much as you can until you find where you want to place it. And then once you find it, you can remove the beam system. I like to keep it together as much as possible because things change, you know. I want to change this to 10 foot. Uh, let's go 3. So... That's it. That's how you do Joyce. So uh, thank you for watching my video, uh, Altima. Um, and then there it is in that roof, that ceiling plan, same beam system there. So um, yeah, so that's how you do that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Uh, take care. Have a good one, and be safe. Bye.